Hey, good morning. We've got a slight problem here. The engine was left in the garage and they're supposed to be left. This is a 3.5 Mercury, excellent condition. Well, it's mine. I did a car rebuild on it down the coast. Now that oil has gone down a lot. And there's two problems with this now. One is the fuel line, but also the oil's gone down a lot because instead of the engine, you see these two, these little nobules here, the engine's supposed to lie on them when you're not using it. Because the garage has been moved around a lot, it was lying on the front. And if you look here, okay, so the oil from the engine has been seeping out and that could go into the engine block. So I've got to try and get this fired up today. Ah, blimey. So let's get this off. So I have to put some fuel in it and then check the engine and I'll probably take the plug out. But I'm just trying to look where the oil was coming from. But I want to fix this stupid, this fuel line tap as well. It's only held in with like this little piece of spring steel. So where's that oil coming from? Hmm. Can't see any apparent leaks. Could be coming through the carb. Ah. There we go. Could be from the carb. So it might have come through the... Look. Okay, so I'm going to fuel this up in a bit. I'm a piece of toast first because I'm absolutely <laughs> starving. I might even take the... Oh, look at this. Right, okay. Get some fuel and get it fired up. Okay, so the so the two jobs I'm doing. So this is this symbol says on. I'm not being rude. This symbol says off. So my fuel line is now in the off position. No, it's on the on position because that means it's off, and the opposite is on because I've put I wrote on there off. I don't know why I bought it like this. I think someone put a new light or whatever they've been fiddling. So if I leave that in that position, lift this tap up, turn that round the other way. We should be okay. We'll see. So the only thing holding this tap down is this piece of metal. Look, see? That's all it is. Bit of a silly design, if you ask me. So if I pull this up, like so. So this is out now, fully out, look. So if I do the opposite. Nope. This is weird. Why isn't that working? See what I mean? There's that little, there's a little clip and that's it there as well. So that's that way. Ah, so if I, no. If it goes that way, it works. Yeah, there's something wrong here somewhere. They've done something. Oh, there's a clip. Alright, I'm going to have a play. What I've just done is pulled that off and turned it around the other way. <laughs> we'll see. You know when you're trying to get your head around something, you think, is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Right. Now that should fit on. Not yet. Okay. So we just managed to clip back in again. Now that should be on, and that should be off. But I've confused myself now. <laughs> so, then you push this back down again. Push that. That should be it. We'll give it a test. Don't need it much. So now, if I turn this, fuel should be on. <laughs> Whoa, that was a clip back. Oh, that's not good. I don't know what that 
in his name, don't we? Oil. Oh, so what happens when you leave the engine in the wrong position? I thought it'd leak into the head, go through the carbs or the Absolutely gunged with oil. Look. Now just drop some WD in the cylinder, let it soak a bit, and I'll give it another pull now. So that oil coming out. Take some cleaning. Watch this, more stuff coming out. This is why you must put the engines down the way the manufacturers state, because that's what happens. The oil leaks into your car, but then goes into the head. The head gets blocked, and then you, I've got to clean all this, take it apart. Uh, there's no need to show you this. I've got that in another look at that in another video I did down the coast. I'll put a link in the description to that. But then I'll clean this now, and then we'll get it fired up. Look at that, absolutely full. So hopefully I'm just going to wait with some WD cleaning. Okay, it should be all back okay. together. Okay, that's all done. Second, don't trust with that. That's ah, bonus as well. <laughs> Fix that as well. So it, it was the, um, the pin, they put it around the wrong, not the pin, the connector, there's a connector that puts on that bit and on that bit and they put it around the wrong way. So I pulled it off, turned it round and it fits now, perfect. And I tested it, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Don't store your engine. I'll stop for a minute. Okay, I'll come in the garage so you can hear me. So don't store your engine the wrong way. Do it the way the manufacturers. This is my fault, I think. I don't remember putting it like that, but it doesn't matter whose fault it was. That just took me, what, three hours to put right, strip the carb, clean it all out, put fuel in the engine and everything, everything you know, strip the whole lot down. So there you go. But running a dream now again. Thank God for that. Okay, if you did like the vid, give it a thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching. I'll put a link in the description down below where the strip down of the car was on the other one. All right, take care. Thanks again. See you in the next one.